Welcome to our lecture online, and now let's take a look at our next example. We're taking the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by x to the fourth minus 1. And again, quickly by inspection, we can see that when we plug in x equals negative 1 in the denominator, negative 1 to the fourth power is a positive 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so therefore we get a 0 denominator, which of course makes that indeterminate. So what we need to do instead is factor this out and see what we can do instead. So we take the limit as x approaches negative 1, the numerator can be factored as x plus 1 times x plus 1. The denominator is the difference of squares, so this can be written as x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1. All right, so, so far, if we plug in negative 1 in the denominator, we still get 1 minus 1, which is 0, so we still cannot plug in x equals negative 1. So we're going to continue factoring this and see what we get. So this becomes the limit as x approaches negative 1 of in the numerator, we get x plus 1 times x plus 1. In the denominator, this can now be written as a difference of squares, so this is x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x squared plus 1. All right, so now you can see that the x plus 1 cancels out with the x plus 1. So now can we substitute negative 1 in for Yes, we can. So now I think we're set. Because when we plug in a negative 1 here, we have negative 1 minus 1 is a negative 2, which is not 0. We'll plug in a negative 1 here. That's negative 1 squared is a positive 1, plus 1, that's a positive 2, which is again not 0. So we no longer have a, negative, a 0 denominator situation. We can now go ahead and take the limit. So this is equal to plug in negative 1 here. We get negative 1 uh, plus 1 in the numerator divided by, so it would be negative 1, minus 1 multiplied times 1 plus 1. So this would be 0 divided by, and of course it doesn't matter what the denominator is, but just kind of curious, negative 2 times uh, 2 would be negative 4, which is equal to 0. And so therefore the limit in this case is 0 when we let x approach negative 1. And that's how we do that.